Okay, so wanted just to kick this off, get this started. Um, let me share my screen. Congrats on making it to March. Holy crap, I can't even believe it's March already. Okay, um, so here is what is happening for our team this month. Okay. All right, so it is the first day of the month. So here is what we are going to be working on is setting some weekly goals. So instead of doing like this big monthly goal, we are going to work on setting weekly goals. So um, obviously I work from um, Thursday to Wednesday, so that's when I set my actual goals. And so maybe that's something that you are switching for this month of March. Instead of saying I'm gonna help three people at the end of the month, maybe saying like I'm gonna help three people each week to push yourself out of your comfort zone. Um, because if you're shooting for three people at the end of the month, you're barely going to get two. And we had girls this weekend that were like, F, like I needed to do this earlier. I needed to have like a bigger, a bigger vision, a bigger push. Um, and so, um, you've probably seen the changes in our team page. You've seen, um, on Thursdays, we're doing growth now. So basically from Monday to Monday, I'm recognizing the growth of helping people each week, um, to move your business forward, um, because you are an entrepreneur. And so in your business, if you're helping one, two, three, four, five people each week, your business is very steady, but it's steadily growing as far as when you only help three people each month, like each week is like this. Oh, I signed someone up. Oh, I'm down. Like I signed someone up. Oh, I didn't. So like really trying to help our team stay more steadily this way and then continue to grow up. So really setting some weekly goals for yourself. Um, my weekly goal is five clients this week. Um, and then I also want to sign two coaches. So that's my weekly goal for this week. Um, yes. Does it make me want to puke? Absolutely. Like, is it a big goal for me? Sure. Like, but I need to push myself a little bit. So that's my weekly goal. So maybe setting that for yourself. Um, maybe it's getting a really good transformation for your fitness journey. Maybe it is, um, getting your best friend to, you know, finally having that conversation and finally getting her signed up because, you know, you've just been kind of like going back and forth about asking her. So setting some weekly goals to help you, um, succeed for the month of March. So it's time to go. Like we set some big goals in February and guess what? Like we didn't reach them and that's okay as a team, but it's not okay to like sit there and dwell. We need to like continue to move forward because you all know like if you're not moving forward obviously you're moving backwards so um I would set a huge goal for yourself but this is normally what I do I try to hit success club five by the fifth and ten by the tenth and so if today's the first I just want to make sure I'm giving you the right um, days of the week so Thursday would be the fifth so I want to wake up Friday morning basically and be at success club five, which means I'm helping three people this week, non-negotiable. It's going to happen. Um, and then I want to make sure I help five people by next Tuesday. So like, do you see how I'm like weekly though? Like I'm looking at the week ahead. So three people, three people, three people, like just really setting those bars for myself. So if that's something that you guys, um, you know, are looking at, but I'm going to obviously be moving the pods around this week. For those of you who are new coach for you have, um, who have hit success club or on the board, or who have actually hit success club those kinds of things so March is gonna start to happen for you um, so just really making sure that you set the bar high at the beginning of the month we had girls this weekend who were like probably should have done this like the first week of March and so they were sitting there February 29th like busting their fingers trying to hit success club so um, it's good for them to go through that to feel that urgency and that focus um, but then also to be like it's not happening ever again like we're gonna do it at the beginning of the month and as coaches as a, a business owner like setting that precedence is huge okay um, Monday you have national wake up call. Um, I just looked at Alex. Um, she's a, I think she was like an author. I have to relook at it, but Monday will be a national wake up call, um, power hours this week. So I wanted to talk to you guys about those at the end of the call. Um, obviously like our numbers are down for power hours. And so we're going to do something different cause it's not working. Um, and so I just want everyone to know like when they're working their business, what time of the day they're working their business, like when they're actually sitting down to work. Um, and then like, you know, you can show up for the zoom or if it's just easier for us to just like message, you know, Hey, I'm showing up, whatever you guys want to do. So be thinking about that at the end of the call. Um, but those power hours, like showing up that needs to happen. So we need to kind of change something and do something different. So Monday is national wake up call. Um, Wednesday, we are actually teaming up with Alyssa, which is kind of like my upline. Um, she is running ad calls, like a training 
every Wednesday night for the next three weeks at 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, she has her ad guy. He's going to come on and just talk to you guys about starting that process. Um, so if you have a Facebook like page, if you want to run some ads on, on Instagram, you can run them as low as a dollar a day, you know, $5 a day. So he's just going to kind of give you some training. Yes, they will have the recordings. Um, but I mean, this is something that if you've been coaching for a couple of months and like you've been hitting success club, this is definitely something you need to start kind of like thinking about and like diving into even as a newer coach, like it's just good knowledge to have. Um, but I will have the recordings and there are events in the team page for that as well. Okay. Coach of the week is Kelsey Wright. So congrats sister. Um, she was just somebody who, um, and I think this is okay for me to say this, but at the beginning of February it was just kind of like, what in the is happening to my business. Like, I just feel like I'm all over the place. Like I don't even know what's happening, but she's consistent in posting. She's consistent with her stories. Um, she was just really struggling with her schedule. She was struggling with like time management. We sat down, we like remapped out her schedule and like, she has been crushing it ever since. So it's not just, um, you know, we're coaches, we're not perfect. We struggle with stuff, but like she could have sat there and quit the business. She could have just like laid down and died. But like, she was like, no, I need to figure this out. I need to change it. I need to change my schedule. I need to get into a routine. And like, if you go to her social media, she's super consistent with posting about her and her kids and her family and her life and her journey. Um, you know, she, you know, is rocking that mom life. Um, she changed her schedule. So now she's like organized AF, which is freaking awesome. Um, she, laid down and died. Sorry. <laughs> um, so she, I feel like she feels like she hit a wall, but then instead of like hitting it and just falling back, like she pushed through that brick wall and like hit success club and just really is continually, um, going, you know, she's always, um, you know, willing to try something new. So super coachable, um, interest from diamond. She's definitely going to be there in March. Like no questions asked. She's going to keep going forward. Um, and this sister like literally battles every day. So congrats, Kelsey, you are a coach of the week girlfriend. Okay. Um, not really a guest speaker, so I'm not going to give you like all my accolades, but I am going to tell you what we're going to talk about. <laughs> so we're going to talk about March. Um, looking ahead, I put the calendar in our team page. So you guys know what's coming up. There is a launch coming. So we do need to have a conversation about that. Um, you struggling, you being overwhelmed in the month of March is not happening. It's not a thing. You decide to be overwhelmed you decide to struggle um i hate those words and i'm really trying not to use them anymore so let's be super proactive let's be like problem solvers and trying to figure this out there's a launch coming and that's good for your business it's amazing for your business for volume for coaches for customers for new people for recommitting all of those things um looking uh, ahead in March, trying to create your FOMO now, and then you have the launch to kind of continue from there. And I was telling the girls this weekend, March is always my best month because I ramp it up. I create the FOMO, like all of that stuff. And so I'm going to show you kind of what to do and how to do that. Um, we are going to, you know, be doing some weekly products. So Jody was doing like a monthly product in her challenge group. And so I just picked one product and I post I'm posting it in my challenge group on Monday, talking about it throughout the week. And then I'm doing a different product for, you know, the next week and stuff. So we did collagen, you know, you can do like hydrate, you could do, even do like recover. You could do, um, the power greens, I think is what it was called. You know, you could do beach bars, whatever it is in your challenge groups, but I think it's healthy for you to talk about um, those different products and stuff because that keeps that retention. Um, and if you got your coach news, you understand that like your retention, the people you signed up in February, if they stick with you in March and they continue to like go on the journey with you, their PV gets put into a pool. And once you get to 200 points, like they're giving you success club points for March. And so just really pushing yourself to get that retention from your challengers and your coaches and things like that. Um, 10 rounds is coming up. I'm going to give you kind of like a two week game plan, um, talk about 10 rounds, talk about coaching opportunity, and then just kind of like giving you um, April ahead. So, okay. If you have like a notebook and pen and paper, this would probably be a great thing for you to like write down and just kind of like game plan with me. But um, as far as March, okay, so March 1st to March 15th, you cannot sign anybody up with 10 rounds. So stop talking about it. <laughs> you cannot like get anybody a challenge pack. So stop talking about it. Like as much as you always do, um, you need to be talking about your March boot camp. I am running a Fitbet. All of the information is in the team page. Take a second, watch the 10 minute video, read the information. Basically it's a challenge group. They have $20. They buy in to get into the group. They get amazing results and they win cash. That's pretty much the gist of it. 
So if you want to talk about the Fitbit and blow that up, my, like by all means do that. You can get people signed up for a challenge pack. You can offer to pay their $20 buy-in into the group. You can offer to pay 10 bucks into the group, creating your own FOMO, you know, having fun with it. Um, I have some um, generic stories I'll share with the team. Um, I just got them like from Mel so I can share them with you guys. But March 1st to March 15th, your focus is hitting success club 10, five people. Okay. In 15 days, five people, that is your focus. That's the urgency of this business. Um, and you know, I, I used to like, kind of like lay, lay back and, you know, and not say a whole lot about success club, not say a whole lot about helping people and like letting people do their thing. But here's the thing. If you're not helping people consistently every month, you will not be here next month or the month after that, or the month after that, you will quit because um, coaching takes out of you, obviously, but it's also, it has all of these good things, but it also obviously takes things out of you. It takes time away from your family. It takes time, you know, to do these things. And so if you're not helping people, if you're not making an income, you will not be here. It's the same thing with any business out there. Um, you know, if you're doing a job, if like, if I was a teacher for three months and wasn't getting paid, I'd probably quit too. Okay. So the reason I'm shoving success club down your throat and helping five people is this is a business. You're a CEO like of your business. And this is your job as a coach. Okay. When you're like, yes, I want to coach your job is to help people. Um, so posting, inviting stories, all of that fun stuff, creating the FOMO, having fun with the freaking business and helping people like that's our focus. March 1st through the 15th. Filling up your boot camp. If you have, um, you know, less than five challengers and you're my personally sponsored, you better be in my March group right now, like trying to get people in there, showing up, um, rocking the challenge group, being your best challenger. Last month, I was like completely blown away how many of our coaches are not even in challenge groups. Like you're not a coach if you're not even running your own group or in a group. Okay. So please make sure you're in a March fitness challenge group. Um, if you're my personally sponsored, if you're someone else's, like reach out to your coach and say, Hey, I have myself in a challenger. Hey, I just have myself. Can I be in your boot camp? And you're not just going to be in there to kind of like pick your nose and hang around. Like you're going to be in there to like get results and be your best challenger and blow that challenge group up. Ask your coach, can I help you post? Can I help you um, with the product stuff? Can I help do a live video on, I don't know, something crazy or whatever it is. Um, so March 1st through the 15th, you are hitting success club. You're helping five people. So write that down by March 15th. I'm going to have five people. Okay. Focus on your challengers, getting them really good results, getting them into your boot camp, getting them set it, um, set up, getting them started. Right. Um, talking to them, you know, how are you making your shakeology? Are you using pre and post? Like you need to do this daily. Um, I just did a live video in my boot camp and was like, if you have shakeology, you have to drink it every day. Like you need to assume your challengers have zero idea of what they're doing because they don't. <laughs> um, so like really helping them kind of like you would, um, helping a child learn a new task or learning how to tie their shoes. Like you have to show them and do all those things. The same thing in your boot camp. Okay. March 16th. Coaches only, if you're already a coach or you're willing to sign up as a coach, okay? Coaches only can purchase 10 rounds. I will be purchasing March 16th, like the moment I wake up, but I actually am not starting the program until April. And that's my choice um, because in March, I'm doing the ultimate reset, but I'm also prepping for this group. Um, I don't want to like jump the gun and like have all these people like, what are you doing? And like feeling like they missed out and all this stuff. Um, but I'm going to be talking about 10 rounds come March 16th because I'm already have my five people for the month. Like I am going to start talking about 10 rounds. I'm going to be blowing up my informational group. I'm going to be talking to all of my coaches, inactive, active coaches, talking to customers who want to change to a coach. If you are a coach or you're willing to sign up as a discount coach, you can order on March 16th. The day you order is the day you get your workouts. So coaches can order March 16th and get their workouts like March 16th. For me, what I'm doing is I'm going to use March 16th through the rest of March to talk about 10 rounds, create the FOMO for 10 rounds, get people in, for, in my informational group, um, get my coaches and them set up first, and then start talking it, you know, to new customers. Um, but I'm actually not going to start my March 10 rounds group until April like 13th. Um, and there's a reason for that. Okay. 
So as far as 10 rounds, um, I have an informational group. Your upline probably is going to be running her own as well. Um, so just make sure you're in that group. Again, you're not in that group. Just pick your nose, like get people in the group, get them information, talk about 10 rounds. Do not start talking about it until you've hit success club. That's your job as a coach. If I see you talking about 10 rounds and you're not at success club, I literally am going to message you. Um, you have to do your job first, filling your boot camp because if you're trying to talk about 10 rounds, nobody can sign up until the 16th anyways, so you're wasting your time, okay? Come March 16, blow the crap out of um, 10 rounds once you've hit success club, once you've helped three to five people. Um, then you have an informational group, uh, what to put in there, you know, you can put in videos, you can put in the bundles, you can talk about 10 rounds, you can share daily posts, you can run it like a challenge group if you want until it starts and kicks off. Um, but I am not starting mine until April 13th because customers cannot order until I think it's like April 6th. So I'm going to give them a week to get their shit together and then we're starting on April 13th. And the reason I'm waiting is I want everyone to start day one together. I want everyone to go through it together. I don't want people to feel like they're behind. I don't want people to feel like you know, I have these two separate groups, coach and customer, because it's just a mess. Okay, so that's my game plan for March. First through the 15th, I'm helping five people, filling up my boot camp, hopefully like turning my customers and challengers into coaches. March 16th, 10 rounds, hello, everything 10 rounds, okay? Um, then what you need to focus on for the rest of March is getting your challengers from not just clients and customers, but getting them to work the business. And how do you do that? Jody and Morgan told us, um, last week, I guess that seems like forever ago. Um, they told us that you have to get them results. So getting them results, getting them to use their stuff, getting them their products, getting them a transformation, changing them into a coach, because guess what? There's a launch coming. Now they have this amazing program they can start to talk about. So new coaches coming in, this is an amazing time for them to start coaching because they have a brand new launch. They have brand new stuff that they've never done. And so they can ask people to come do it with them um, and really utilizing 10 rounds um, to, you know, start their business. Uh, and so, the rest of March, I'm going to be talking about 10 rounds, getting people in there. I'm running a 10 rounds specific group in April, and then I will also run like a multi group in April. So I'll have two groups, but a lot of my energy focus and all of that stuff is going into 10 rounds. So what I'm doing now is prepping people for 10 rounds. Okay. Your job as a coach in March is to quit sitting on the fence, get off of the fence, move your business forward. If you've been a coach for two days, 20 days, you know, 20 months, whatever it is, you should be an Emerald coach by now. You should have two people ready to go. Okay. Um, if you don't, are you posting? Are you inviting? Are you like doing the things to move your business forward? If you're not use March to get your feet like underneath of you and start working your business as a coach. Um, I realized when I was in Orlando and talking to the girls this weekend, like I have lost my, my coach swagger. Like I have let coaches walk all over me, um, and say they're going to do X, Y, Z. And then they never do. And then I'm like, Oh my God, where are you? Can I help you? Like you guys need to know that this is a business and you have to know what your next goal is and where you're going and to understand that like our job as coaches is to help you from each um, like rank or each step in the business, but you have to do the work to like get there and then we show up. You do the work and then we show up. You do the work and then we show up. So that's why I have these pods the way they are. New coaches, they have to show up. They have to do their fitness stuff and start to get results for me to give them a one on one and talk to them. Coaches who are like hitting success or like who aren't hitting success club, they're in the consistency breeds confidence group for a reason. You're showing up every day, posting, inviting. I know you're working the business. And so if you ask me a question, I'm more willing to work with you than if you're not doing shit and you're like, nothing's working. Well, yeah, no duh, because like you're not doing anything. Those coaches who hit success club in the month of March, like they get all of like almost all of my time because they worked, they showed up, they invited, they got out of their comfort zone. And so I'm going to give them a lot of my focus because they work their ass off and I need to work with my working coaches. So for you, what I want to challenge you for March is if you're my PS or you're not, I'm going to speak for all of the coaches is you need to move your business forward. If you've been an Emerald coach for like six weeks, what in the heck are you doing, girlfriend? Like get your butt to diamond, get moving in the business. Um, everyone always complains. I talk about rank, but like everyone also talks about like how they're not making money and then they quit. So like either you follow me or you're probably going to quit. So moving yourself to Emerald coach is helping two people. I already told you you're going to help five people this month. So guess what? Emerald check mark. 
you're on your way to diamond is 12 people. You're almost halfway there already at the beginning of March. So do you see like if you level up in the business and if you have a game plan, everything else just falls into place for you. So I really want to like challenge you to rank advance your business this month. If you're a new coach, get your butt to Emerald. If you're an Emerald coach, get your butt to diamond. If you're a diamond coach, get your butt to one star. Jody told us last week it was 25 people. I think she said for one star. Um, if you already have 12, you're already like halfway there. Okay. Um, hitting success club, helping your challengers, getting results and turning them into coaches. That should be like a really big focus for March. There's a launch coming. They have lots of stuff, lots of excitement for them to be successful coaches. Okay. Um, creating FOMO for the month of a month ahead. How do you do that? Like, what does it look like? Um, so I am talking about my boot camp for March. Like it is like the end all be all like you need to get your butt in there. I'm only taking 10 spots. I'm giving away whatever to the first 10 people I'm creating the list. Um, Jody shared yesterday when we were at the retreat, she shared like her stories and she had someone randomly messaged her and was like, Hey, like, tell me more information about this because she took the time to post about her challenge group to post that she had spots open. And this girl who has been ghosting her for six months was like, okay, like I'm in, give me information and signed up last, like within four hours, I think she had said, if you're not talking about it, no one's going to sign up. If you're not creating FOMO, nobody's going to sign up. If you're not telling them you have 10 spots and showing them the 10 spots, like that pushes you as a coach. Cause how embarrassing is it to post that you have 10 spots the entire month of March? Cause you haven't signed anybody that pushes you to post, to story, to invite, to show up, to get results. Okay. So is it scary to post that you have 10 spots and be like, shit, I have to fill all 10 of those spots. Oh yeah. Every, like every first of the month, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to hit success club. I've been coaching for four years. Am I going to hit success club? Yes, I am. But like, am I like, holy crap, I'm at zero? Yeah. Like it scares the crap out of me, but sharing your, your challenge group, talking about it, showing them that you have 10 spots, filling one spot, like creates FOMO like crazy. So you getting your first challenger into March is huge for you and for your business. Okay. I'm getting them excited. So it's Haley's birthday. I know she's using the month of March to talk about like her birthday bash and like, you know, giving back to people who join up with her. She's at success club two already. Like she's pushing, creating that excitement there. Um, I think Jody's was like something about happiness project or whatever it is like that goes with her like sun vibe, high vibe stuff. And so that's really good for her. If those two things aren't you, like I'm not born in March, like I'm born in July. So how can I create like the FOMO for March? I'm going to talk to my market, my athletes. I'm going to talk to my March Madness people who watch college basketball. If you don't watch college basketball and you're posting about it, people are like, who the f are you? Like, what are you talking about? But if it's your thing, if it's your jam, like if you're looking forward to it, people are like resonate with that because you're being authentic. You're being you. Um, so maybe you're a busy mom. So it's busy mom month. Maybe you're like giving back to busy moms. Maybe, you know, all these things. There's just different ideas you can use for March. Um, Skylar just had her baby. She's talking about nutrition. She can't work out. So why the hell would she start talking about all these workouts and stuff? She's going to like dive into nutrition because that's the phase. That's the season that she's in. So just really understanding where you're at and like who your niche is and who you can actually help and getting them really excited. Um, maybe you are doing your own discount. Maybe you do like a $10 gift card to anyone who signs up your first five or 10 people. Maybe you're doing, um, maybe you have a cricket and you're giving away like those like decals or something to the first 10 people. Um, whatever it is, if you don't talk about it, people don't know about it. Okay. So like be super excited, talk to them about it. Um, create that excitement, that FOMO, show the list, talk about your boot camps, all of that stuff. Um, share you and share your story over and over and over again. Um, we listened to like my old school national wake up call from like 2017. And I was so all about me and my journey. Like I shared my pain points and I talked about it and I grabbed people and I brought them through. Cause I was like, here's this group, here's this community. I'm going to give back to you. I get you. I support you. Let's get results together. Not homegirl. You need to be in a challenge group. Like there's a difference between the two. So talking about you sharing your story, you should be sharing your story at least once, if not twice, every single week. If you feel like you're talking about the same thing, it's a good thing because not everyone sees your shit every single day. Okay. They might be clicking through. They probably don't have the voice on or the um, volume on. Maybe um, they don't see your posts. 
Okay. So like, if you feel like you're talking about your boot camp all day, every day, like that's a good thing because it's going to trigger to somebody. Um, if you're talking about your story once or twice a week, that's a good thing. People are going to get your story. When you share transformations, don't just share like a side by side, talk about who you were before. Talk about where you're at right now. Um, so for me, March 1st through the 15th is all about my boot camp, all about transformations, all about nutrition, getting results like that, that shift. Um, and then March 16th, all about 10 rounds for me. Once I hit success club, I'm all about 10 rounds, getting people signed up for 10 rounds, getting them in my informational group, um, getting them in a holding cell. So when we start, um, my 10 rounds group, like they have that spot. They're like a leader of the group, maybe asking them to help run the group with you. Like just really getting active with your challengers, um, being proactive, making sure, um, you're creating that FOMO and stuff. So that is like my game plan for March is the first through the 15th is you fitness transformation, get your challengers hit success club, quit messing around, like get down to the business and like utilize this stuff. Okay. March 16th, once I hit success club, it's all about 10 rounds. I'm going to blow it up. Like if it's not your program, you guys, like that's okay. You don't need to be obsessed about 10 rounds, but it's my program and I'm going to be obsessed about it. Um, but like just using like the, the energy, the momentum and stuff, um, from 10 rounds. So maybe you run your own group or whatever, but hopefully you're interested in 10 rounds because it's something new and exciting for you to do. Um, but if it's not your jam, like if you're like a yoga person, this is probably not your jam and that's okay. Cause that's not your people. Um, but the first of the month, fill your boot camp. The second of the month, talk about 10 rounds, start to move your business forward, find coaches and those kinds of things. Um, and just really create that FOMO for the month ahead. Okay. So that's all I have for, um, for March for like our game plan and stuff. Um, but I did want to let you guys know that I am doing like the fit bet group with, with Melanie and a couple of her coaches, your challengers can be in there without you being in there. Like they'll be fine. I promise you. Um, we're doing videos every week or whatever to get them started. It's like a challenge group, but they're getting more because it's a fit bet. There's a $20 buy-in. Um, I have the graphics and stuff. It's in the, the team page. So basically your, your challenger has to send 20 bucks to the PayPal, screenshot it, and then they get into the group. And then they have the entire group for the month. They have all of those coaches. Um, and whatever you want to do as far as covering the buy-in or not is totally up to you. If they order a challenge pack, I'm more willing to buy the $20 buy-in for them. If they're already a customer or coach, they just need the buy-in to get into the group. They have to be on HD with Shakeology or Performance Line though. So just kind of keeping that in mind. Um, if you don't do the Fitback group, that's awesome. Like, I don't care. Whatever you want to do with your business. Just make sure you're filling up your challenge group. Um, and then as far as consistency breeds confidence group. So I love it. And I think it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's getting people to post and invite and all of those things. Um, so I'm going to leave it open for March and we're going to continue with it. Um, Alyssa asked me to do kind of like a 10 X your business sort of thing for March. And so it's doing the things, posting, inviting all of the consistency breeds, confidence stuff, but it's also pushing our girls to start to follow more people on social media, um, to start to kind of ramp their business up that way. So if you're like, Hey, I'm, I'm really good with posting and, and doing the things consistently. I would love like a little bit of a nudge kind of thing. I can get you into like that group that we're doing, but it's March Madness fitness oriented. It's basically the consistency breeds confidence group, except for, um, you know, we're just giving you, I don't know, more speakers and lives and things and just helping you with stuff, but ramping your business. So, um, there's just a lot of stuff going on in March and I don't want to like, you know, overcomplicate things. So boot camp, hitting success club, 10 rounds, moving your business forward. So that's really what I want you to focus on. Um, you know, hitting it early in the month, especially the girls, I probably should have had them to, like do a call for us. But some of the girls were, you know, sitting there 28, 29th of the month and were like, crap, I need this person. I need this person. And like, if they would have hit it at the beginning of the month, like they were even saying like, I wish I would have just did it at the beginning of the month. It's so much easier, less stress, all of that stuff. So think about it. How can you talk to your niche market? How can you talk to your people in March and get them freaking excited? If it's your birthday, blow that up and like try to create some sort of FOMO with your challenge group with that. Um, if it's, I don't know, um, 
I'm trying to think of what else in March, like spring, maybe if you're like a anxiety depression person, you're like, holy crap, like it's 630 and it's still bright outside, like sharing that and like trying to use that into your boot camps, however that is. Um, oh yeah, St. Patty's is definitely big in Emmitsburg. We've been there a couple of times. So you can even talk about that, like blowing up your St. Patty's challenge group, like whatever you guys want to do, however you want to talk to your market, hitting success club early in the month, um, then switching to 10 rounds, then like really ramping up your business. And I hate saying like shit or get off the pot, but like shit or get off the pot, like move your business forward, if that makes sense. And so um, talking to the girls this weekend, like hitting success club early in the month sets you up for an entire month of success. Just like if um, I think it was Jody, I was talking to her, she like got up, worked out and was like, I just my day just goes better when I just get up and work out and like, you know, have all the things done. It's the same thing with your business hit success club. Then you're not stressed. Then you're having fun. Then you're enjoying, you're making money. Like all the things just start to happen for you. Um, so that's why I'm really going to push and focus, um, in the pods and stuff. I'm actually going to be pretty quiet in the pods until I hit success club myself. Um, because I have to do that for me first. And then I'll show up in the pod and say, this is how I hit success club. This is what I'm doing. Um, so if they're quiet for the first couple of days, that's probably why, because I need to do my business and I have to hit success club first. Um, before I can pour into anyone else. And so don't expect your upline to help like to get you to success club. Like you need to do it because your coach is doing it too. Like you guys need to know, like our team does the things and to like have faith in that and show up and push yourself because your coach is pushing herself too. Um, you know, like Skylar was messaging in the pod, like, Oh, I'm sending out another link. Like she just had a baby. Like what's your excuse? <laughs> like, you know, I was like, fuck, I need to like go message a hundred people. Um, so just really figuring out, what you can do to rev up March, the first two weeks, hit success club, and then go 10 rounds crazy. Okay. Like promise me you'll hit success club, 10 rounds crazy, um, rank advance in your business. Um, you know, shit or get off the pot, like just move your business forward. Um, and then know in April, that's when I'm going to start my challenge group for 10 rounds, because, um, you guys all know you need to give your social media a week or two for things to finally like hit and for them to see it and then to commit, if that makes sense. So, um, setting up a 10 rounds challenge group in March, you're probably going to set yourself up for failure. Like I'll just tell you that right now. So set it for April. Okay. Fill it in April. They will wait. Like they can wait. Um, maybe they'll start and then they'll restart whatever. I don't care, but my group does not start until April 13th. So prep like the sixth and then April, I think those are the right dates. April 13th would be like day one. Okay. Um, because your people have to hear you, see you talk about 10 rounds for two weeks for them to finally commit. So I would not set your group for March. So boot camp for the next two weeks, hit success club. Then you talk about 10 rounds. You can still hit success club from them signing up for 10 rounds, but just like know that they need to prep themselves before you dive all in in April. Um, and so that's my game plan for March. Um, I will be hitting success club before I blow up any pods. Um, so if you don't hear from me, like I need to hit success club first. Um, what did I say it was five by the fifth, 10 by the 10th. Okay. So like maybe that's something that you start to go for. Um, and imagine five, adding five discount coaches to your business right now. What would that do for you? Emerald? Absolutely. Maybe that would push some of you to diamond. Maybe that would push some of you to three star, whatever it is. Like just know what five people would mean to you and go and do that. Help those five people. Um, and then start blowing that up for 10 rounds and stuff. Um, okay. So question for you guys, as far as power hours, um, the thing I'm, and I'm not going to use the word struggling because I freaking hate that word. Um, the thing I'm trying to solve is I don't work my business from seven to nine o'clock at night anymore because I'm at home. And so I'm working during the day. Um, I show up in the pods. You guys know, like when the pods are like booming, you're like, she's working. Like, you know, when I'm working my business and when I, um, for my team cup every day, I sent them my invite every day. I sent them my follow up. So they knew I was working my business. What do you guys want to do? Because for me, power hours, um, when I used to work seven to nine, like I was there at seven and I worked until nine and I was on a zoom and I was working and hustling. What do you guys want to do with power hours? How do you guys want to, um, I don't know like what's more beneficial for like our team because I feel like um I don't know I don't feel like the zoom is doing what it used to do like I know you guys have a morning workout group and you show up and like you're like I can't not show up for them like we need to get that for our business so how can we do that 
Um, I think the Zooms were way helpful. We just strayed away from it. Yeah. So if you show up, I think the Zooms are freaking awesome. Um, there are, I shared in the team page, um, I think it's like a noon and like a Thursday night power hours that Lindsay Matway is doing that people actually like run it. Um, I don't have the time to like sit on a Zoom and like run a power hour every day because my computer doesn't work. It, like Zoom and like running my computer, they don't work at the same time. My computer like can't handle it. Um, but I'm totally game with like, running power hours if we want to commit and go back to that. Um, I think it's nice because it makes people sit down and like work their business. Um, so maybe we just do one link and um, we hop on there. I did like doing groups because I feel like you guys were like, hey, where's this girl? She never shows up and she's in our group. Um, so I did like the groups and I liked the Zoom, um, but I can commit to like a day um, at night to like check in too, but I do work my business during the day. That's why I'm at home. That's why I worked my ass off. That's why I retired myself was to work during the day and have my nights off to spend with, with my family and stuff. So, um, <clears throat> I think like telling our upline our groups during my power hour right now, whenever that time is a good, okay. So what if we do, um, you guys are all in pods, obviously with your coaches and then my coaches are in my pods. Um, if you, I'll get one link. We could just use a team call link if that works um, because obviously it's reoccurring and um, we can just use this link. And then when you're hopping on, just say like, I'm getting on zoom and then putting that in there. Um, so for like my pods, if the girls aren't showing up and giving me their trackers, like they get two strikes and then they're out, <laughs> like then you're a challenger. Um, and so that's just what I'm doing because if you can't show up two weeks or three weeks, I guess out of the month or two or three weeks, like this probably isn't for you anyways. Um, but we need to organize when you're working your business. So I, I like having the zooms. I like people being able to get on. Um, so I will just set up a, I'll just share this link and then I'll just put it in the team page. And so just like message in there, I'm getting on as anyone else working today or whatever it is. So we can kind of like hop on and work together. Cause some nights I do work at night, like Sundays I work at night obviously, but, um, like Wednesday, I'll probably work at night cause Aaron's gone. So like, I would love to hop on and like work with people cause it just pushes me and it's good for questions and stuff too. Okay. Power hours, um, 10 rounds. I was going to let you guys know I have an informational group, but, um, reach out to your upline first. She may have a group for you and your downline, um, you know, just to kind of get in, um, an informational group. Um, obviously boot camp. if you're my PS, your butt better be in my challenge group unless you're running your own. So, um, just kind of keep that in mind. Um, for 10 rounds, all of the bundles, all of the information, everything is in the team page. If you click on units and click on coach news, I believe it's in there. Otherwise, um, Beachbody champions page. I don't know if you guys know this, but that page is like effing phenomenal. <laughs> um, they share everything. So they did a video about 10 rounds. Um, they shared the pricing, the bundles, how to promote it everything but there is a pdf in our team page that has all the bundles and stuff too but it will be like the 160 price so um it's really not a change for march like it'll be 164 all access or 164 um 10 rounds so i'm going to really promote like hey sign up and i'll give you this brand new program for free that's essentially what they're doing so that's what i'm going to do later on but um the bundles and stuff right now, I'm just doing the all access for 160. And then I'm just doing a $10 gift card for anyone. My first 10, 10 for 10 for 10 rounds is what I'm doing. So that's what I am um, promoting to get people into um, my challenge group. So, okay. I'm going to stop.